Hey y'all, it's the Bitter Thrift Machine. Today we're gonna do a little what sold video on eBay, so stay tuned. All right guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also the Bitter Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I basically buy stuff and sell it online for a living, hopefully for a profit, and mostly on eBay. What I'm gonna show you is 27 items that have sold for me in the last three days on eBay, I had a record week last week. This week has been a little bit slower, but that's okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What I will tell you is exactly how much I paid for it, roughly, and how long it took to sell. So let's go ahead and get on the first one. The first one is going to be a Clothic by Possible Dreams Fire Santa 1993 edition. And it did sell for $29, and the buyer did pay ship, and I picked this up probably about four months ago for a dollar at a yard sale. This is a Cleveland CG15 Zip Grooves. This is the head only to a wedge golf club. And it's over $15 and the buyer did pay shipping. If you did watch my golf club video that I did like yesterday or two days ago, I'll link it down in the description. This is the golf club that was bent. And remember in the video I said that you can take the heads off the shafts. All you gotta do is just heat it up and pull the head right off the shaft. For, for a steel shaft, for a graphite shaft, it gets a little bit weird and you kinda need a little machine for it. But boom, did that and you would think that it would be broken. But if you know how to remove the head from a shaft, you can go ahead and get your money back. The next one is going to be a Polo Ralph Lauren short sleeve, big and tall, 3XL, big logo. I got this about a day ago and posted it about 12 hours ago and it sold almost immediately. Uh, the reason why it sold for fast, number one, it's a bigger size and two, it's got the big pony logo and I got it for $4 at a Goodwill. This is a Glock box. It's just obviously the case and it sold for $12. The buyer did pay ship and this was out of the storage locker a while back. I have nothing into it, but I think that was about two months ago. This is a Frigidaire Portable Retro 6 Can Mini. I got this for, I think, about 2 or $3 at a yard sale about a month ago. So for $19, the buyer did pay shipping. This was missing the inside grate on it, but these things go for, like I think, 40 bucks brand new. This I had forever, probably six to eight months. Have nothing into it. When I bought it, I probably had about 50 cents into it. It's a vintage AirGuard desk barometer something something it was broken had no glass in it basically sold it for parts and did so for ten dollars and ten cents and the buyer did pay shipping this is out of the auction hall which i did uh a I think it was five days now because I'm almost done everything. I gave myself seven days and I'm basically done now within five days. And this did sell for $50. The buyer did pay shipping. This is a BB Magneto timing buzz box, timing box. And this is for actually someone on Instagram did tell me it's for timing RC engines. I knew it was for timing some sort of engine, which I thought was RC because it was an RC lot. But it did sell this. I still have all that money into it on, on auction lots. I don't say that I make a profit until I obviously get my money back. Like if I said how much I had on this item, it's probably like three bucks. But ultimately, I, that is, I'm just regaining my money this time on the auction. This I spent $3 at a Goodwill. This is a TaylorMade Tour Preferred TD1 iron. Did sell for $21. The buyer did pay shipping. Took about four months to sell. This Alien 2 Pro Series, also $3 at a Goodwill. Sold for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. That also took about four months to sell. This I got for free. It is a wooden suitcase travel case. Has like leather straps and belts. I thought it was actually pretty neat. I thought it was gonna go for a lot more than this, but it sat for probably about four months. Nobody really bid on it. Somebody said, hey, I'll give you 25 bucks plus shipping. And I jumped all over it. This is a vintage 90s, the North Face Gore-Tex. It didn't have a size, so I took good measurements, and I got it for $5 at a garage sale a while back, but it did end up selling for $76, and the buyer did pay shipping. And the reason why I sold it so cheap is there was some um, issues with it, some spots on it and everything. So I did sell it. I think that you could have probably got about $100 for it if it was in really good condition. I got this out of the auction lot. Also, I told y'all that I got some silver in that lot, some sterling silver stuff. This was just one Tiffany earring, return to Tiffany Company, miniature silver earring. Uh, like I said, it's only one earring. And that one earring sold for $45 and the buyer did pay shipping. I was gonna just keep it for a while, but I did notice on eBay that the two of them were going for like 180, 100 and stuff. So I said, you know what? I bet you I can sell this thing for about 50 bucks and sold for 45. This is a vintage Nike sportswear multi-jacket large. It was pretty cool, but it didn't have a big logo on the back. I think if it had a bigger logo, it went for a lot more money, but it just had the small logo on the chest. And it sold for $30, and the buyer did not pay shipping. It was free shipping, padded flat rate for $7.91. And it really took a while to sell, probably about six months. 
So glad these bears went out there. Snowflake Girl and Boy Teddy Bears, 2003 Dan D. They went for $35 and the buyer did pay shipping. Uh, I got these a while back, six months ago at an auction. I have nothing into them. And when I bought them, I probably had 10 cents a bear. I have about 50 more bears left, so I'm glad to see them go. This is a new era Callaway golf hat. This went for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. This is out of storage locker. I got nothing into it at the time. This right here, I did a video on, and it was at an estate sale, and these are basically rigid model 12R ratchet pipe threaders, and they're pretty big. These things are gigantic, and they went for $99 on the buyer paid shipping. I paid $35 for these. Actually, I paid $40, but I also got a pipe bender in there also, so I kept that to the side and said I paid $35 for this, so I had some pretty good profit. Uh, I bought it as a pipe, if you remember. If you didn't watch that video, if you didn't, I will link it down in the description also. And I took the actual pipe part out because I could sell these for more money and less shipping because this went in medium flat rate. If I kept the pipe together with that really long handle, it would have been a lot of money to ship, like an insane amount because these things are very heavy. So it wouldn't have been able to fit in any flat rate. So I, I made the executive decision to remove the handle and sell just the head and the dies and it turned out pretty good. They sold pretty fast. This right here is a older 12 inch fiber optic light up yellow and gold Christmas angel tree topper sold for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. I have nothing into it at this time and it only took about a month to sell. These are some Tommy Bahama men's brown silk blend corduroy shorts size 40 sold for $19 the buyer paid shipping. I got $4 in them at a Goodwill a long time ago. This right here is a pool cue. This is not out of the auction. I got this for $3 at a Salvation Army about three weeks ago. I put it on auction. The reason why it says read is because that the handle on it or where you hold it was starting to unravel and it was rope. So I wrote all that down and so forth. So for $25 and the buyer did pay shipping, had a case with it. And the case was a Budweiser case. So all that I think came into play for the price. And it is, uh, the brand was called Players. So not a bad sale there. This is a new global cycling shirt size, extra, extra large so for $21 the buyer paid shipping I got that for $4 at a Goodwill probably about four months ago this is a pen 330 GT2 fishing reel the reason why this only went for $45 I did quote this going a lot higher is it was missing two pieces so I had to go ahead and you know disclose that and everything and it did go for a lot cheaper than I thought but I still got $45 the buyer did pay shipping and that was out of the auction I got about a week ago these warrior golf clubs they are a 60 and 56 degree wedges right handed with graphite shafts went for $25 and 50 cents and the buyer did pay shipping I got six dollars in them at a goodwill this is a chef's choice 320 diamond hone knife sharpener it took me four times to say that that I cut out actually and it went for $29 and 75 cents and it was on sale when I made the sale and the buyer did pay shipping I got it for like four bucks at a goodwill this right here are some woman's Sperry shoes quilted on the size they're like duck boots. I can't believe it took this long for them to sell, but they did sell for $25. The buyer did pay ship and I picked them up for $6 at a Goodwill probably six months ago. This was out of the auction lot. This was one of the bigger RC engines that I had and it was I think for, for an airplane and it went for $100 and the buyer paid ship and I had it up for $120. Somebody offered me $100 and I took it. This is a, again, from the auction lot. All this stuff from the auction lot, I'm still making my money back. I'm only about $100 away from breaking even, which was about five days ago when I bought it. I thought it was going to take about two weeks to get my money back, so I'm right on schedule. And this is a Snap-on Tools Christmas globe. And in the video, I said that the little truck didn't get to work. I did get the truck to work by shaking this very hard and vigorously, and the truck started moving, so I was like, ah, that works. It went for $29.99, and the buyer paid shipping. And that was it. So that was 27 wood sold for me in the last couple of days. Uh, not any huge home run sales, but they do pay the bill. So I'm happy for every sale that I get. I do appreciate y'all watching. If you're new to the channel, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, and like the video. And you know, I will catch you on the next one. Baby.